Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Smash Wednesdays. Two weeks ago, if you missed the last episode, we fought against, uh, opponents online. I was gonna say we fought against Sheik. No, we played as Sheik online. Um, it was a little bit of a wonky week. Uh, we did win most of the matches, fortunately, I, I believe so. I don't recall exactly. Um, so if you want to check out the Sheik episode, make sure you do so. But this week we are going to be playing as Zelda. I've gotten plenty of practice in for Zelda, including today, so... If you guys are excited for this episode, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get right into Zelda week, which is week 17. Alright, so our first opponent is an Enderman. I am not surprised at all that we're fighting against a Steve main online. You know, basically a Steve main, because Steve just was released uh, this past Thursday, I believe. I don't even remember exactly. No, it definitely was not Thursday. It could Yeah, it was Wednesday. I'm pretty sure. You know, I don't have my dates exactly, but I'm, all you need to know is that it came out fairly recently, and usually when new characters come out in Smash Bros, everybody's playing them. I'm actually pretty good with Steve right now. I have 6 million GSP with him right now, and I'm trying to get him into Elite Smash. I'm main Enderman. Uh, I definitely don't have items on, like, this person, but, you know, I guess if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. But, um, I have almost 5 million GSP with Zelda, so I think this week is going to turn out pretty well. We'll just have to see how it goes for sure. Waiting for that third piece of the Dragon Machine. He just knocked that one out of me, so. Is that the only item he has on? That's kind of weird to, like, I can understand having items on, but just having one is pretty weird. Ah, crap. I probably shouldn't have seen that coming, but, you know, can't always predict everything, and this guy is being a jerk hole. So I am going to use the final smash as well, and that is definitely going to kill him. One thing you gotta know about Zelda, if you don't know already, is that her final smash automatically kills when uh, the percentage is over 100 which means if you start at 70 uh if your opponent is at 70 that's basically kill range for zelda's final smash i could have dodged that steve's um final smash is surprisingly undodgeable at points and um unless you're at the end of the stage any percentage below 50 will not kill your opponent using steve's final smash um, but like I said, if you're at the edge of the stage, then you're most likely going to be killed by Steve's final smash. Um, and if you're at the edge of the, the, like, the map period, like, off of the stage, basically any final smash in that case is going to kill you, because it's going to send you flying off to the side. I'd be surprised if it didn't. It just depends on the percentage that it's used on you at. It'd be nice if we could get more solid hits on him, but the only item he had on was the dragon uh, thing, so it's probably not going to show up again. I'm very lucky that we survived that, and he's not very good at building as well. Just missed us with the fishing rod there. Come on, bro. Yeah, there we go, setting him off the stage. Now we're, we're getting the advantage, but not for very long, I can just see it now. He almost got us with the sword there. I can see us winning this for sure, but it's going to be a very close one no matter if we win or lose, so... Um, if I can survive the next 50 seconds, then it'll be a sudden death. Which you gotta... You, I'm not, I, I know that I've been explaining a lot of things about Steve here. <laughs> but one thing you gotta take in uh, into consideration in sudden death for Steve uh, is... Well, one thing is that it's very easy to win in Sudden Death is Steve, because all you have to do, and that's going to be a win for us. All you have to do is use the minecart, and they can't get out of the minecart at 300%, so they just automatically die. It's really easy to win as Steve in uh, Sudden Death, but there we go. First match out of 5-1, let's get right into the next one. Alright, now we are fighting against a Mario in the wedding outfit with a very creative name, as you can see on the bottom there. Um, <laughs> You guys might have noticed that I am playing uh, with the specific color palette or palette swap for Zelda uh, that matches her traditional uh, her traditional 
colors, the ones that have been Zelda's colors um, in Brawl and Smash 4. It's just because, you know, I grew up on Brawl. Smash 4 was the first Smash game that I owned, um, technically. So, you know, I'm just used to these colors, and I'm really happy that Sakurai decided to choose, or whoever does the palette swap decisions, I'm sure Sakurai does some of them, but in case it wasn't Sakurai in this decision, I really appreciate whoever chose to have an ode to those colors, because I usually just use them when I'm playing Zelda. Which, I didn't really look at the palette swaps when I first started playing Smash Ultimate, so... Um, I just played as the normal colors, so... It was it was definitely a great moment when I found out that this palette swap was available. He's gonna try to use his final Smash, because he knows that we just got ours, but we just dodged the whole thing, so... We're gonna suck up the, us, uh, we're gonna suck him up into ours. Man, I'm not having a good time talking today. I just got out of school, so I've basically been spending most of the day participating in speaking and stuff like that. While I don't speak as much as other people in my classes, I still, um, speak when possible. Um, you know, just to get participation in there. Um, but yeah, I, school's been going just fine. Uh, it's been going on for a month now for me, so, um... Although, you know, school kind of disrupts some certain things, it's I'm still able to balance things better than I have before, and I think this whole online thing is working out for me better than normal school, because I can go at my own pace, and it's a lot of fun to be in school online. Because um, even though I'm not in person seeing my friends, I can still um, enjoy school, which I don't usually enjoy school 100%. Um, especially since we had that six month period of where we didn't have school after our last year got cut off early. Well, this isn't the ideal senior year I had. <laughs> it's definitely not, um, not as difficult as I thought it would be, uh, when I heard I would have to be doing it online. Alright, Mario. You are a very mighty opponent. Man, we just keep on getting our final smashes at the same time. Um, but he's about to die, because you, you literally cannot dodge Zelda's final smash. Unfortunately, he was just 3% off from being killed by it, but we killed him immediately after, which is beautiful. That was a fantastic match. It was a very, very chill match, so I appreciate that. Um, a little LMAO XD, thank you for the good match, and let's move on to the next one. Alright, so our next opponent is our first heavy of the episode, King K. Rule. Um, King K. Rule is a pretty good uh, heavy target. All heavies usually are because, you know, they're massive targets that you can hit. It just really depends on how they prepare themselves, especially since King K. Rule has a reversal. That makes it difficult at some point, um, I mean at some points. I was trying to say at some times, but, you know, whatever. Um, Oh, wow, he actually did not recover from that. I was about to touch up on how King K. Rool is probably the most, um, you know, interesting heavy fighter in my opinion, because, um, for one, he has a reversal, whilst Incineroar is another heavy that has a reversal, that is literally reversal from the Pokemon games. Um, King K. Rool has a breakable stomach that will confuse him if broken. See, there's what I was just talking about. And the other thing is that he has the best recovery out of Heavy Fighters, in my opinion, because it goes the highest. But unfortunately, he barely did not make it. Uh, well, unfortunately for him, I should say, because it's fortunate for us that we won that match. So, goody for us. Um, it'd be nice if Mr. Crocodile here would stop kicking our booty. It's alright. He's been in his second stock for a while because of that um, not landing his final... Uh, wow, I was about to say... Uh, not landing his recovery, but I said Final Smash because he also missed his Final Smash right there. So, this match isn't going very well for King K. Rule here, but it's going very, very well for us. And it's about to go even better because he stood right there for the Final Smash. And while I couldn't kill him without it, I just wanted to, you know, take care of his stock. Because heavies are usually harder to knock out, even at those red percentages. I feel like this episode I've been giving a lot more tips about fighters and stuff like that than I usually do, so yeah. This has turned from Smash 1 stays into Smash 101, um, and now it looks like our common ground is even, so that's that's gonna have to cause us to um, work a little bit harder now. 
because he's basically analyzed everything that we've been up to this whole match so he can dodge them at the right times. So far we have not hit him on this stock. It'd be nice if I could. There we go. Well, we hit him once, it wasn't a very heavy impact, but it did something. He seems to be using his shield a lot more. He might have been using it the same before, but I haven't been, you know, realizing it enough, so maybe he hasn't. I don't know. Well, we got to throw him. Still wish we could get more hits on him. We're gonna get our final smash for sure before he does, so... My goal here is to get him to 70% by the time that happens, so... It's basically destiny for him to lose, but now we're going to be going into sudden death, so I guess that won't be happening. Hopefully we can get him. Oh, no, he got us. You know, here I was hoping that, you know, this would be the first Smash Wednesdays where we win every match, but of course it's not... I don't think I've ever won five matches in a row unless I'm rematching somebody who really sucks at the game, so... A uh, good match. I don't know why I did my winning caption, but there we go. Let's go to the next one. Okay, I denied the rematch, and it looks like we are fighting the same King K. Rule. The reason why I recognize his name is because Botaro. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're probably from JoJo Stan posting on Facebook, which is a Facebook uh, shit posting group that I'm in where they post JoJo memes. I have the most reacted to and shared meme on the group, so I'm pretty proud of that. 4.2 thousand reacts, it's basically a Billie Eilish bad meme, um, but, you know, people enjoyed it, so I, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, you see what the meme was, was uh, there was a Kickstarter uh, fundraiser where it said, let's get um, Billie Eilish to voice Jolene and part six of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure dub. And I put Captain America in Endgame saying, no, I don't think I will under it. And, you know, people apparently loved it. So, probably because of the shock factor that people wanted Billie Eilish to play. And it looks like he took his first stock the same way he did in the last match. But yeah, I, I think her voice would be too boring for Jolene. I've read some of the manga, so it'd be really surprising. And it looks like our friend Botaro here doesn't want to actually play. Yep. His controller probably failed. I wouldn't be surprised about that. That happens a lot, actually. He, he could have, you know, ran out of batteries or something. If he's playing with Joy-Cons, that just... Yep, now he's back up. Good friend Botaro is back. He missed his final smash. Hopefully he does an SD. Um, one thing I wanted to touch up on, um, that was an interesting match that I had against um, Zelda as Steve. So basically, like, reverse of our first match. Um, I was playing as Enderman. Uh... Zelda was about to use her final smash, but I had no idea. I placed TNT because she was about to climb on, onto the stage again, and I wanted her to blow up because of it. And she got her final smash and used it immediately. And, you know, I was coming towards the, the Triforce, and I was like, oh no, I'm about to meet my doom. But the TNT exploded right as I touched it, and I launched away from it. So I did not get sucked up into my appending doom. I escaped it just because I planted that lucky TNT right before the match. I mean, right before the final smash. But there we go. We got redemption for our loss against Botaro in the last match. Part of it was because he SD'd twice, but I'm still gonna count it. So that's three out of four down. Let's see how the last match goes. Ah, uh, it wouldn't be a good Smash Wednesdays week without Joker. I'm pretty sure we've had Joker online in uh, Smash Wednesdays, well, a majority of the weeks, I'd say. Majority of the weeks we've played Smash Wednesdays, I'm pretty sure we fought Joker. Um, and it's funny, because I barely play Joker online when I'm actually playing uh, for amusement rather than, you know, amusement and uh, recording for YouTube for you guys. Um, and as you can tell, uh, as they are both projectile fighters, um, Zelda is not the strongest against Joker. There's specific characters that, um, fighters that you may play as are not very good against, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. Um, Steve is a good counter for heavy fighters from what I've experienced so far. I don't think I've lost against a single Ganondorf so far as Enderman. Um, as I've won most matches against Incineroar that I've played so far. And, you know, I've been doing pretty good against King K. Rule. Donkey Kong is basically easily countered with every fighter. Donkey Kong is a major target that has, 
zero moves that have spread damage. Um, even the ground pound thing where he slaps the ground a bunch of times, uh, that does not have the biggest spread. So, Donkey Kong is really easy for me to defeat online. And he is a strong character, don't get me wrong, but he is easily defeatable with basically any character that you might play as. Um, now that isn't saying that I've played every character against Donkey Kong a bajillion times, but I know that most characters that I play with, I can easily defeat Donkey Kong with, and I, ev I rarely ever lose against a Donkey Kong player. Even if they're a Donkey Kong main. Because I'm pretty sure most of the ones I play are alt Donkey Kongs, but... You know, who knows, maybe I play some mains sometimes and they're just not very good. And they should make Donkey Kong their alt and find a new main. And I think after practicing this week, I have discovered that Zelda might be one of my alts. Because I'm pretty good with her. And obviously you guys can, you know, see some of that evidence in this episode. If we win this one, that'll be 4 out of 5 matches won. So, maybe that'll happen. Who knows. Let's get Joker with this. Ooh, it actually went over 100. I wasn't actually expecting that. He actually took some damage somehow. I don't even remember seeing how. Um, well, all we have to do is keep this stock for the next 20 seconds and we get an auto win. So, hopefully we can do that. Um, if you guys are curious, uh, my main, for sure, as I've said before, is uh, Banjo and Kazooie. And um, my only alt before was Ness, but now my... I have two alts, the other one being Enderman, and it looks like we're going to get that auto win. So, there we go. Four out of five matches won, guys. Um, I might be a Zelda alt now, so I, I'll have three alts and one main, and that's fantastic in my opinion. So, this was a very solid episode, and I hope that it, you guys agree. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Smash Wednesdays. Uh, remember to check out the Sheik episode if you have not done so already. That video, as I'm looking right now, only has four views, so I'm pretty sure most of you viewing this episode have not seen it. it that episode deserves a lot of love, especially since it didn't get that much attention when it, since it's been out for two weeks. Two weeks from now, we will be playing at uh, matches as Dr. Mario. Sorry, messing up my speech there. Um, we'll be playing as Dr. Mario two weeks from now. Again, if you did not check the episode of Sheik out, you do not know that this is a bi-weekly series now. Every other week I will be playing Super Mario Sunshine because I have a blind playthrough going up every other Wednesday and the Sunday preceding that Wednesday. So there will be two episodes next week, one on Sunday, one on Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday we will be playing as Dr. Mario. So if you did enjoy this episode of Smash Wednesdays, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if brand new to the channel, Ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos on my channel. This is Inferno Man burning out and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Smash Wednesdays. See ya.